Relinquishing sugar stage one, preparation. For this you will need one kitchen that you will not leave. Soothing music. Fry's chocolate cream, three bars of. Terry's chocolate orange, one box of. Four finger Kit Kats, four bars of. Haribo star mix, one bag of. One bin for rubbish and one for recycling. Paracetamol, mineral water, vegetables, lots of vegetables. Lean meats, fish. One bottle of vitamin pills, which I've already procured for my wife, who is, in her own domestic and socially acceptable way, a vitamin junkie. Now I'm ready. All I need is one last Kit Kat to soothe the pain before embarking on this challenge. No, not this week. This is a week without sugar. I need to make this clear, I'm no foodie. Don't like that word. Yes, I like food, not onions, not eggs, but I have a massive sweet tooth and I love sugar. And sugar is everywhere, it's in everything. Most people now know that sugar makes you fat and tired, not a good combination. And there are loads of other health risks associated with consuming too much sugar. Diabetes, Heart disease, obesity, tooth decay, premature aging, gum disease, cancer, high cholesterol. Nice, there's different types of sugar, but essentially fructose is the naturally occurring sugar in fruit, vegetables and whole food. Sucrose is the white process sugar. So for this week, naturally occurring sugars are fine, added sugars are not. Is that clear? Okay, let's go. Doing a sugar-free shop means loading up on natural produce and avoiding all processed foods at all costs. This week I will also be cutting out bread, pasta and rice. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. Second day of not eating any sugar and I've just been in a really bad mood for most of today for no particular reason. I don't feel hungry, I'm just grouchy and irritable. Putting this down to just a side effect of coming off sugar. It must be a joy to be around right now. Dinner so far has consisted of sugar-free burgers with lots of vegetables and corn fillets supplemented with more vegetables. Vegetables are a theme. Today is Valentine's Day and my wife Kirsty very kindly bought me these. These are now in the house. I know they're there and I know that it's gonna be very tempting to eat them. If you're gonna try and do a challenge like that where you eliminate sugar, caffeine, smoking, alcohol, whatever it is, you need to get that out of your house. Otherwise, it makes your challenge 10 times harder. Sugar-free Valentine's Day. For breakfast, I've been having a bowl of shredded wheat, large coffee, and a pint of water. Since conquering my Diet Coke addiction a couple of weeks ago, I continued drinking lots of water, but this week in particular, any diet drinks were a big no-no. This morning, I'm on my way down to George Heriot's school in the centre of Edinburgh to do some aerial filming. Apparently, the author J.K. Rowling was inspired by this building whilst writing the Harry Potter novels. You may notice that George Heriot's has more than a passing resemblance to Hogwarts. On Tuesday I played five-a-side football and I really noticed how much energy I had compared to normal. Tonight I'm going to go for a 10k run, so I'm really interested to see how I feel doing this compared to normal. I do you think my diet's been helping this week? Not just in terms of fueling myself for exercise, but not getting lethargy during the day. Just been for a run now and again I can feel the difference. So eliminating sugar is making a difference to my body. I can certainly feel it. One thing I've noticed is that my sleep this week has definitely improved. It's been easier to get to sleep and has been less disturbed overall. I'm used to waking up well before sunrise to shoot video footage or take photos, but this week I have noticed that I feel more refreshed in the morning. 
To be honest, I've struggled with the challenge this week, more so than when I ran 10 kilometers every day for seven days. With running, it was a physical challenge and I knew what I had to do to get through the week, but cutting out sugar is a big psychological battle. I should have had more variety in what I've eaten this week. Dinner, I've tried to avoid carbohydrates and have focused on fish and vegetables, corn and vegetables, or corn and salad. Perhaps the most interesting thing is that I've lost more weight by not eating sugar than I did by running 70 kilometers in seven days. I should caveat that by saying I have been doing quite a bit of exercise as well as not eating sugar this week. From my experience, weight loss is controlled far more effectively by diet than it is by exercise. More than anything, this week has made me think much more carefully about what I'm gonna put into my body in the future, and this can only be a good thing. But yes, there's probably still gonna be times when I want to sit and eat 18 chocolate hot knobs in one sitting. Thank you for watching. You can follow my progress on these platforms. To make sure you don't miss any of the episodes, please hit the subscribe button.